It's not a formal press if you want to pull the side grab. Are we going to do a gaggle? Yeah, Yeah, I don't mind doing it all together. Thank you. Thank you. Good grace. Well, Veronica's eternally tired. Um, I was just telling Lara, it's like all she wants to do is uh, read and swim. That's all she wants to do. Like, literally, if she can wake up and jump in the pool, she's like happy as can be. That sounds like a good life. Yeah. So here's the crazy thing. Not to be too uh, personal, but we have this, this huge uh, shower. Good enough for a Friday. Right? <laughs> so what are we talking about? Maybe. So she can do that one once again. She, if we're showing. Tell me when walking. you guys are ready. She can walk right into the shower. <laughs> she loves being in water. Why don't we first start with your name title, please? Sure. David Jolly, J O L L Y, member of Congress. Uh, what is, is there anything more that Congress can do to control the spread of Zika? Oh, certainly. I mean, we need to provide additional resources. The good news is, and this is important, money is flowing today. Money has been flowing for several months uh, for prevention, for vaccine research. The issue, the pressing issue, the urgency is that that money eventually will expire pretty soon. And that's why Congress needs to get back to Washington and pass a Zika package. Uh, listen, I would support the President's package, I'd support the Rubio-Nelson compromise package or the House package. The important thing is let's move now to make sure that the resources continue to flow. But that's not happening. Congress is in recess. Um, who's to blame? Well, listen, this is one where cooler heads need to prevail. This should not be a political issue. I will tell you within the Florida delegation there is an emerging consensus to pass a package. Uh, Senator Nelson, Senator Rubio are 
uh, orchestrated a compromise. I think that's the most viable path right now. But understand this is a regional issue, right? The Florida delegation understands the urgency. We're impacted by this more than other states are. So as a delegation, we need to impress upon leadership and the broader, the broader Congress to actually pass a package. Let's not lose sight, though. The money is flowing. The money has been flowing. The President's been, been able to reprogram money. There is money there today that is flowing at the federal, state, and local level. So you just toured a lab. We did. I wasn't with you, so I'm just making right. sure. What, what did you learn, and what's the what, what's the most pressing thing that people need to take from, from that? So one of the neat things is the leadership role that USF has in the fight against Zika right now in the research area. Uh, one of very few research institutions that are actually addressing mosquitoes and Zika. Uh, the important thing is the research continues. It's, we still don't know everything we need to know about Zika, uh, and so what do we need to do to control it, to prevent it? But then also on the medical research side, we do need to develop a vaccine. Listen, the President proposed a two-year plan, and my first question was why should we assume a two-year crisis? The answer from the medical researchers is because it will take that to develop a vaccine to cure the Zika virus, and so we need to do that. Why can't the Republican Party just agree on a, on a bill that doesn't have any meaning to it plan I, look, I disagree with the offsets, but but let's extract the politics from the for a moment, right? The president proposed a $1.9 billion plan uh, that included expanding Medicaid on Puerto Rico and other islands for non-Zika-related medical care. That's a concern. Why would we be diluting resources for Zika? So there are legitimate questions that have to take place as stewards of the taxpayers. There are. But at the end of the day, we need to reach a consensus. And I think we have one. We have one there in the Nelson Rubio compromise at $1.1 billion without the offsets in the House. I think we should call that up and pass it today. Uh, should we then continue to push for additional resources? Yes, I think we should. Again, as a, as a Florida delegation, I think you'll see the politics really aren't in play. The politics are in play at a national level, having turning this into a national debate that it shouldn't be. We simply need to reach consensus. I think we have it in the Florida delegation. Now we have to impress upon the broader Congress to accept that consensus and pass the package. I'm going to steal that mic from you. You got it. Which one is yours? That's mine.